guys, welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. So this is the, I think it's episode 18, or something ridiculous. Um, I've got to admit, te I'm technically one episode behind the number it says because I missed episode 4. I caught something different and then carried on with episode 5. So he's going to heal here. Um, so yeah, um, this episode is going to be a special. We're going to call it the Win Straight Special for that one particular reason. So you go up here to Triple One, and you talk to this guy. Yes, you have to be all four of the Win Straight family in a series of Pokemon battles. And when he says the series, he means battle. You beat him. Someone else comes out, bats you straight away. You don't get a chance to go and heal. This is optional, but I just like fighting these guys because they're fun to take out. So he'll open up with a tailor. These guys are actually weak enough for you to use them as training bait for Gym 3. Yeah, Taylor's got wing attack. I've just realised Torch Burn's now got a fighting subtype. I actually didn't think it got that subtype until it was a um, Combuskin, I was ob not Combuskin, a what's it called? Blazer Camp, I was obviously wrong. This guy's Zigzagoon, I know what I'm gonna do. Battle of the Zigzagoons! The one I didn't want versus the one he obviously did. Both all 16s too. Pretty equally matched, aren't they? Ha! But nothing could beat my self-trained Zigzagoon. No one! Not even you at home! And she probably could, because this team's not very good compared to most Ruby teams I've used. Actually, to be honest, this is weaker than my Platinum team. So he goes into the house, and out comes Lady Winstraight, the mother. And basically, you, you fight Mr. Winstraight, Mrs. Winstraight, and I think you face Grandma, and then you face the daughter. Yeah, this dude just has one Rosalie, which is, again, to be honest, mostly training bait for a fire type here. And if you wanted a bit of fun, you could use a flying type. Or a psychic type, for that fact. Okay, so Rosalie uses an Orban Berry to restore his health. Um, that's a trait shared within most of the Winstrait family. Most po most of the Pokemon will have a um, berry, Orban Berry attached to them. This is the easiest woman to beat. She's only got a um, she's only got the one Rosalia, so you know. Um, I'll stick as I did with the gym battle. I'll stick. Them, uh, no, I won't. Their move sets won't be up. Um, Basically, I will stick what Pokemon they have, though. Let's just stick what Pokemon that Winstraight has. Um, this Winstraight is Winstraight Vivi. Um, I was about to say, I know, she, I know the female definitely uses a Marrow. Well, she's going to screw me over here by using Water Gun. Now, to be honest, I don't like the battle animation to Water Gun in this game. It just looks like it's firing a blob at you. I much preferred the Water Gun from... Generation 4. You can actually make it look like he's firing a beam of water. Um, one annoying thing about most Pokemon is that we're continuously using things like... Uh, spell could take a while, guys. So unless she takes me out soon, I'm not going to be happy. Hooray, I got Peck in. Come on. I want to... I want to... Uh, this is the first time I'm ever going to say this, but I actually want Torchbow to go down. Oh crud. Nah, it's not gonna start to press play. Oh crap. I just realised I had my bloody mouse button over this vi old video. Ugh, shit. So yeah, these battles are done. Um, I'm sorry for having that in the way. Right. So yeah, that's sh this shroomish. Um, 
Truman shall take this out easy, but we'll take out, I think it's, Mal's evolve form evolves in three levels to a Azumarill, and that I believe gains an earth subtype, meaning it rids its weakness to water, but gives it four times weakness to grass. Normal, fight, not fighter type, fire type, um, I'm actually going to train, train Taylor on it, because I want to swallow. I'm actually going to go and have a look at what Taylor evolves into in a bit. So in all honesty, I have forgotten. In the gap I took between playing this game, I have forgotten what Tim Taylor knows. What it evolves into, sorry. Shroomish. Um, to be honest, right now I'm thinking I shouldn't have been stupid enough as to have done that, but Taylor will do the trick. Because basically, you know... Flying versus grass equals two times super effectiveness to me. Does use camera upped. No, wait. No, I'm wrong. Sorry. Someone else uses camera upped. No, it's in the. Yeah, so I'm thinking of the anime here. They use cat. They have camera ups instead of all these Pokemon. I apologize for getting get actual anime stuff mixed up to the game. And basically, high jump kick. The risk in the move is, if you miss, you'll deal all the damage you were going to do to your opponent, to yourself. And your perfect nails high jump kick is not the most accurate of moves. It's got an accuracy of 70, which is about the same as any old... Um... <coughs> so it's got about the same accuracy as Thunder, 70%. And yes, I did just fancy shouting... <coughs> Top of my voice. So here we go. Winstrike family defeated. Let's go and see what they have to say for themselves. This shame. Hmm. I wonder who their grandson is. I actually do wonder who the grandson is. These people just give you user sight on the macho brace. Basically, I believe it doubles exp it does something weird. I need to say doubles experience, I really don't believe that. Alright, it promotes growth, but it reduces your speed. Basically, yeah, it helps your experience at the result of being slower. Just quickly exit here. And in the next episode, we will do absolutely I was going to say we'd do absolutely nothing, we're not. We're going to go to Verdant Turf Town, not the Rust Turf Tunnel. See you all then.